Hello, welcome. This is Austin from tclassify.com. Today, I'm going to be teaching us the IEEE referencing style. The IEEE referencing style. Or you can call it the IEEE referencing style. This is the style of referencing used for engineering. And that is what I'm going to be showing us today with a practical example. Now, this is my project work. We can see this is chapter one down to the last chapter so i'm going to do referencing for this work this you can see this is chapter two and as you're scrolling down you can see chapter three and the rest of the chapters so for this project i've done from chapter one to three yet so i want to reference it just like most of us have and we need to reference our work before we can give it to our supervisors to do corrections and other things you can see uh, this is another chapter so i want to do the referencing for this so i'm going to quickly get to the first part i'm starting the referencing from chapter one because some of the things that i used or some of the materials that i used there are not actually my own uh, materials they are got from somewhere so for you to have a good project you need to do the right referencing so let's say this very uh, uh, this very statement, the term flow pattern refers to the spatial distribution of the phases which occur during gas liquid to phase flow. This statement, if you have such in your work and you actually got it from somewhere, so you need to reference it. So I'm going to reference this statement now using the I triple E referencing style. So I'm going to put my cursor here because I want to reference this whole statement telling us where I actually got this from. So to do that, um, so for you to use the IEEE referencing style, you need to put uh, the square bracket. You can see the square bracket that I just put. And this is referencing reference number one. So I've written one. So this is how you indicate reference. So I'm telling her that this statement is gotten from this one so where is this one how do you put how do you tell them tell the people reading this that this is from one now you have to get to the end of this your project work so now i'm going to just scroll down to the end that is when you must have done everything you get to another page a fresh page that fresh page you're going to call that fresh page your reference page so I'm going to have a fresh space here. I'm going to call it reference in capital letter. So this is my reference page. So for me to now reference that one that I put there. So I'm going to put similar thing here, this block bracket, and I'm going to write one. So once I do that, I'm going to indent this by giving a space it, or pressing the tab. Then I'm going to write the reference where I got this from. So where I actually uh, got this from, uh, the, in the references that you have to put the abbreviation first. That is the abbreviations that are in the names of the writers. So I, I have for my for this very reference, I have E. Then I'm going to write the real name of the author. So if the author, if there are more than one, you have to take note of the other people. So I'm going to simply get to where I have the name of the author. This is the name of the author. Uh, this is the, also the full reference that I have for this very person. So I'm going to copy it exactly like this. And I'm going to go to the work that I have and do what? Paste it. So you can see that we have the initial E, the name of the person. Mohammed Mehdi at all. You use at all when the writers are more than one. Then the title of the work that you use, Deep Learning as a Tool to Produce Flow Patterns in Two-Phase Flow, the month and the year. So this is an example of how you can use this very uh, referencing style. So I'm going to make sure that this is uh, in 14 so that all of them will look similar. And I'm going to make sure that my references is in bold. So that is the that is how you use uh, uh, IEE. You can see this is one, and this is the name. This is the initial of the writer. This is the name of the writer. If they're more than one, you can use at all. 
dot put the name of the work the month and then the year so this is one style of doing it so if you have a number two reference now you make sure you, go, you put double line spacing before you put the next one put double line spacing and put the next one put it as number two and also put the name of the writer the same way you did this one so first of all you need to understand how it works write the one here first before you go and reference it so let's say the number two person is here you have to put this block uh, bracket and put number two so that when you get to the end of your of your uh, work you can reference the number two so this is what we call the i uh, triple e referencing style now there is a work online that you can use and uh, read about it more you can see it here this is i triple e referencing style that you use for engineering it is actually the style used mainly by electronic and electrical engineering and computer science you can see where it is uh, listed up now you can see an example that they gave here after much write-up they put one here you can see the one then after another write-up they put two then they now did the referencing so the re in referencing with i triple e star most first of all you have to align your references to the left as i did here you have to align to the left so this is the work this is aligning it to the left it has to start from the left side uh, secondly you ha it has to be a single space for each entry and double space between every new entry double space between every new entry so like here there has to be double space between this entry one and entry two but single space between uh, the write-ups for one entry very very important you need to know this that is the instruction now you have to place number of each entry at the left margin and enclose it in a square bracket that is what i did here i put the number of the reference in the left margin and i closed it in a block parenthesis you can see the block parenthesis that i used then totally you have to indent text of entries you have to indent indent simply means give space there is a space you can see this space between the one and this initial e there has to be this space so once you do something like this then you know that you are following the i triple e referencing style which is what is needed for engineers or for engineering project like we do in chemical engineering so these are the examples if you're referencing from a book this is what you have you have the ref number which is either one two or three or there about enclosing a bracket you have the author's initial like i have here this is the initial of the author e before the author's name so very very importantly you need to follow this author's initial author surname then the book title and edition place of publication publisher and year for books then for book chapter you have another form for it for electronic book you have to put the reference number author initial author surname year month book title and thereabout if you are using a journal this is how you put it so you have for different types of material you have how you follow it so you can read about this this very book is online you can see the uh the the address that i use this www.bat.ac dot uk slash publication slash library guides to citing references slash attachments slash i triple e style guide so if you read this through you get uh, the clear picture of how to use this uh i triple e please if you like this content hit the subscribe button if you have any questions and concerns uh that has to do, do with this i top uh, triple e references style please drop it on the comment section uh, that is the style I'm using to reference so you can see I've started my referencing this is my chapter 1 to 3 so you see the first reference is actually in block letter 1 and down here at the end of the work that is where you have the referencing page and that is what I have here and this is the I triple E referencing style if you have any questions and concerns please hit the subscribe button and drop it on the comment section so that I can look at them for you. Uh, thank you and God bless you.